Yo, what is up and what's good, what's poppin', what's pop a whoppin', and welcome back to the Crypto Galaxy. I'm gonna be giving you my top five gaming coins that I would be buying today with a budget of $500 to make, like, I don't know, a million bucks in the next bull run. So, going through these in a priority order, I think some are better than others, starting with games for a living. And the rules for all these crypto picks is that, number one, it has to be a new crypto about to go in its first bull run. It has to have been launched at least after Q1 2022, and also the market cap has to be minuscule. It has to be a, a fresh new crypto. Nobody's talking about it on YouTube or Twitter. It's not in any of the news. It's pretty new, low market cap. It also has to be listed on at least a few small exchanges, and the team must be fully publicly doxxed. All right, my first pick, Games for a Living. Looking really bullish on the chart. I mean, holy crap, dude. This thing just keeps pumping forever. Uh, there's a reason why this is my number one pick. The bullish chart being one reason, I recommend get a little bit now before this pumps forever because the market cap on CMC reportedly 7 million. It's a little incorrect. Uh, on CoinGecko, it's going to say 10 million. That's more accurate because the circulating supply is about uh, 7% total. So not many tokens in circulation. Most of them are locked up for the VCs, the presale, and the team. Right now, Games for a Living, the, the best place to buy is PancakeSwap because you can get it for dirt cheap fees on the BNB chain. Other options are BitGet, Mexi, and Bitmart. I also like Mexi, but because it's a BNB chain token, may as well just use PancakeSwap. It's the easiest way. Connect a MetaMask, a Trust Wallet, uh, or do the Tangem hardware wallet. Recommend st t taking it all offline onto cold storage. I have all my G file on the Tangem. So why is this super bullish? Well, it's brand new. This has been out since March, 2023. It's about to go into its first bull run. It keeps holding higher lows. And I know some sometimes you ask, oh, well, what's the great entry price to get GFAL? I don't know, man. Like, maybe it could dip to one cent, but who knows, right? It depends on what Bitcoin does. If Bitcoin rejects 30K, the price could come down a little bit. The way I see it, the, the market cap is so small that the difference between a 10 mil market cap and, you know, 7 million, it doesn't make much difference, right? I would just buy it now because this is going to be a solid two-year play. Could easily list on Binance, Coinbase, get global mass adoption. They have some great news coming out for their Elemental Raiders game. They go to conferences in San Francisco. Also in Europe, they go to some of the world's largest e-sporting events, and it has a very good, good team. This is mostly why I invest in it. I have a lot of faith in this team. I believe that they know what they are doing. It's crazy, dude. So this guy, Mantle Sort, he was a, a vice president at Activision Blizzard. This guy, Trip Hawkins, is the founder of EA. He also did uh, was the chief marketing officer at Apple. He worked directly with Steve Jobs. And then this guy, Javier Leon, was a art director at Netflix. So these people are uh, the real deal. They know what they're doing. Probably going to pump this to at least a $5 billion market cap, maybe $50 billion. I can see this getting uh, really mainstream, global mass adoption, and doing uh, 1,000x. Could do 1,000x. It's crazy, man. Super early. So good pick. My next pick is going to be Abyss World AWT. Uh, about one-eighth as good as Games for a Living. The way I see it, market cap is $21 million. So Abyss World AWT, low market cap, currently listed on BitGet Mexi. I recommend Mexi. They have all the gems listed on there. Just make sure to use a VPN if you're in the USA. Uh, circulating supply, pretty low. It's like, what, 15%, but it is what it is. All these cryptos are going to have low circulating supplies in the beginning stages, but at least it's a new crypto to do the pumps in the next bull run. It has to be new. So chart looking hella bullish, just keeps going up and sideways. Hasn't had any big pumps yet. Also never had any crazy dumps. It's uh, it's looking like a safe-ish chart, right? Like I think the only way is up from here. Um, it's not pumped too much. Volume is pretty good. Volume is picking up good chart right it's really bullish it's pretty new it only came out in june 13th 10 days ago so super brand new uh if you do buy this you are going to be one of the first people to ever buy abyss world very risky for sure the team is publicly doxxed um this this uh this gaming crypto is owned by another third party company uh metagame industries not that they're like super legit like games for a living but <laughs> given that we don't have many great gaming pick uh, gaming cryptos out here these days uh, Abyss World does take number two, so it's, it, it's it's just okay. It looks like a fun game. I would recommend checking out the website. You can do some more research on the team. It's just it's just whatever, right? It's mediocre. Uh, the market cap, $20 million, and if this hits an all-time high market cap like Gala did in the last bull run, you know, we could see this do also like 100x, 500x, or even 1,000x. 
these gaming cryptos get so much hype. So I think Abyss World is pretty decent for a number two pick. My number three pick is going to be Lit Labs Lit. And I would say uh, probably putting us at number three behind Abyss World. It's it's decent, right? It's okay. You know, it has a, um, it has a publicly doxed team. Which I, I always look for. Uh, I know the chart not looking too bullish, but the reason why it's not a, a scam dump chart is because it's only down 50% from all time highs. So from from one penny to half a penny, it's 50%. That's pretty good, right? The only time I will call crypto a scam if it if it went down over 85 or 90% from the all time highs, then I would be like, whoa, hold on there. So it's looking okay. I know it's dumping. I would not buy a whole lot of it. I would wait to see how long it dumps for. But as of right now, it's looking fine, right? It's only down 50%. I recommend Pancake Swap just because the fees are going to be really cheap. You get self custody, but if not, you can also use Maxi. Doesn't make much difference. The, the market cap is really low. Uh, the current market cap is about 16 million. And the way to figure that out is that for the BNB chain tokens, you got to go to PooCoin. PooCoin is always going to give the most accurate information on. Any BNB chain token, they're more accurate than a coin market cap and Gecko. So here it says 60 million. I know it kind of dumped on launch, but that's fine. You know, it's only down. Uh, oh, actually, it's 1.5 cents from the launch. Okay, interesting. So coin market cap listed it after the launch. So this is going to be a more accurate chart. Uh, so I'll take it back. It's not down 50%. It's actually down uh, about 70%, maybe 75%. So take it with caution. Hopefully this thing can go flat sideways for a bit and stop dumping. I don't want to see it down more than 90%. Right now it's only down 70%. So I'm taking it with caution. I actually don't hold any yet. I'm just keeping an eye on this one. It's very new, very risky, but it still has 1000x potential. It does have a publicly doxxed team. It's been out for a couple months. Not, too, not It's not looking too bad, right? Um, what does it say? Lit Labs Games is a AAA publisher released Cyber Titans, uh, first video game backed by blockchain technology and a token-based deflationary economy. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of crap. So it's just not like, oh my god, the best gem ever. But it's okay, you know. It's it's really like I said, it's hard to find gems these days. Nothing is actually that great, but this is fine. It's okay, you know. It's just take a look at the uh, the white paper, the about section. You can find more information on the team. It's whatever, man. Right? I would only throw in like thirty bucks out of five hundred. It's, uh, it's it's okay. So. Uh, my number four pick is also a micro cap Cortana at 6 million market cap. This is hella cheap. So let's see, how is the chart looking for this one? You know, it's dumping a little bit. Like I said before, it's not down too much, down from a penny to half a penny. It's only down 50%. Uh, the most information I can find for this is it's on the Arbitrum chain, but it looks kind of wonky on the Arbitrum chart. I think that this is not accurate. To me, it's a red flag. I'm mean, just being completely realistic. It's a, it's a red flag that it's, it's on Arbitrum because Arbitrum is such a new layer two that it's not proven itself yet. So, I mean, sure, it could be the next Polygon ETH layer two chain, but you don't know, right? It's just so brand new. It's so speculative. You know, if Arbitrum goes down, then this is also going to go down. So, uh, the better picks are going to be BNB chain and Ethereum chain tokens. But nonetheless, this still has potential. They did pay the list on BitMart. These cryptos have to be listed on at least one central exchange to prove that they're trying to pump their way to the top to pay for more exchange listings and uh, to make it eventually. The team for this one is also publicly doxxed. Nothing crazy good about them, but you know, the fact that they're doxxed means that they're putting their reputation on the line. So it could be a decent team. Uh, it's a pretty fun looking shooter game. They also have a Certic um, audit, which is really good. Certic is actually the best auditor in crypto, hands down. They're the most reputable, the most trustworthy. It's Certic. Anyone with Certic, um, it's a really good badge of approval for, for being audited. So we'll see how good that is. Uh, it, it, it has potential, right? It's fine. They have a good uh, full. Wow, this is a huge audit from Certic. So Cortana is decent, right? Like, it's fine. And also, you know what's pretty fine? I recommend just take a look at the uh, my Patreon. If you want to track all my trades, get my buy signals, my sell alerts, buy alerts. It's all on the VIP tier. This is the most popular tier this is the way to make money to follow my trades to get ready for the next bull run because otherwise if you go through the next bull run and you don't make a lot of profit you're gonna be like oh man i should have followed somebody else who's been through a bull run before dude i've been in crypto since the last before the last bull run since 2019 i made i was turning 50 dollars bags into 10 grand last bull run and that's that's the plan again this bull run so i know that these picks are pretty risky but uh, I have a lot more picks than these on the list that I am throwing 50 bucks in. So I recommend just take a look at the Patreon, see what I'm buying, and see what's in my portfolio. It's 
could be worth your money. So recommend a Patreon if you're interested. And the last pick I have is going to be Gala. I, I I had to put Gala on this list because I put it in the thumbnail. The reason I put Gala in the thumbnail is because I know it's really popular. Everyone is talking about Gala. But, dude, to be, in my honest opinion, Gala kind of sucks because it's a, it's a pump and dump. You know, it... It went up like 3,000x last bull run, and then everyone, they sold it off. They did an exit scam. They dumped it. The VCs dumped. The team dumped. The devs dumped. If you look up the CEO for this guy, Eric Schiermeyer, you'll see that he has a really scammy, uh, sketchy history, and you'll be like, oh, my God, holy crap, dude. This guy is terrible. So look up the CEO. You'll see You'll see what I mean. This is a pump and dump. Uh, and, and that's fine, right? Like these gaming cryptos, they do pump and dumps every bull run. You just got to get on the new cryptos to become the next pump and dump because with Gala, Maybe you get a 5x if you're lucky, but you ain't going to get a 1,000x, a right? It's so late. You got to get into the new cryptos. So that's why I would only put in $1 to the Gala. So yeah, just put in $1 to Gala. Uh, so yeah, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the Galaxy. Thank you very much for watching. Check out the Patreon if you're interested. Link's going to be down in the description below.